Good evening and welcome to Jasper High School Baseball here on 18 WJTS. I'm Kurt Gooksell. Tonight the Jasper Wildcats entertain the Shackaback Lakers here at Rooksur Field. The Cats 1-0 after a 15-0 five-inning win over Boonville on Tuesday night. It'll be senior right-hander Andrew Noblet on the hill for the Cats. The Shackamack Lakers, a perennial power in 1A here in southern Indiana, will go with Jay Cox. Beautiful night for baseball. We'll step aside. We'll have the lineups and opening pitch right after this on 18 WJTS. This is Tony Ubelar, Ubelar Toyota in Jasper. Toyota announces a new certified used vehicle program. Now vehicles up to 10 years old with 125,000 miles are silver certified. Cars up to 6 years old with 85,000 miles are gold certified. That means more great certified Toyotas for you to choose from. All with additional factory warranty, 24-hour roadside assistance, and a stringent multi-point quality inspection, like usual. Ask about a gold or silver certified used Toyota from Ubelar Toyota in Jasper today. Welcome back to Albert C. Rooksur Field. Senior right-hander Andrew Noblet takes the hill for the Wildcats on Tuesday night against Boonville. Four pitchers combined on a no-hitter. Kai Koontz, or actually three. Kai Koontz, Jack Levin, and Jackson Whitson on that no-hitter. So Noblet gets the ball tonight. A.J. Holzman in left. Brayden Giesler in center. Jack Levin in right. Will Wallace, Braxton Brosmer. Thomas Hobbick plays second with Noblet on the hill, Cole Trevino at first, and Tyler Atkins behind the plate on a beautiful night for baseball here on this good Friday. The Wildcats idle the rest of the weekend. They'll be back in action Tuesday against Bloomington South right here at Rooksur Field before hitting the road for the first time next Thursday at Floyd Central. And next week's games will be very, very competitive. Bloomington South, always good. Floyd Central, really good. Then they'll go to Northeast Dubois on Friday to play the Jeeps, a team they scrimmaged uh, last Thursday night here at Rooksur Field. Wind blowing out toward left center field just like the other night. Riley Huckabee will stand in for the Shackamack Lakers, and we are just about underway here from Alvin C. Rooksur Field on a Friday night of high school baseball. Brad Bain behind the plate. And Craig Mikrantz will call the balls and strikes. On, or actually call the bases, I should say. Brad Bain calling the balls and strikes. Noblet gets up on the Rooksur Field mound, and we are just about ready to go here. First pitch is on the way. A fastball dives low, 1-0. Shackamack, one of the top 1A programs in southern Indiana, year in and year out. Play a very aggressive schedule. They'll play both the Terre Haute schools, West Vigo, Bloomington South, Bloomington North, gets them ready for their tournament. 1-1 one one to Huckabee, the catcher. Noblet brings it home. This one slammed in the hole between third and short, past the diving. Braxton Brosmer and the Lakers have a leadoff man on here in the top of the first inning from Alvin C. Jaden Johnson, the shortstop, will get in for the Lakers here. So Noble to work out of the stretch for the first time this evening. And with a runner on base. Trevino will hold against him. Third baseman Wallace comes in. He's shown no signs of a bunt on the first pitch, and it's outside 1-0. Oh. Throw gets away back to the mound. So the Cats, no problem with Boonville. They had a nine-run third in pounding out 14 hits. On the game, Noblet with a high set and deals the 1-0. Fastball outside corner for a strike in the count evens at 1-1. One one. Cats have that double play in order. Around the horn and up the middle, here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. He squares the bunt this time and takes it for a strike. So Johnson behind in the count, one and two. Jenkins, the first baseman on deck. Mm -hmm. 
Pitch on the way. Runner bluffs going. This one looped into right. In comes Levin, and he has it bounce in front of him. And the first two Lakers are on board with singles here to start the contest for Jenkins, the three-hole hitter. Lyndon Jenkins with first and second with nobody out. I think he's bunting in that three hole, but you never know. Here's the pitch from Noblet. Breaking ball misses outside. It's 1 0 from the right hander. Noblet 7 3 last year. Runners take their lead. The Lakers chatter in that third base dugout. And next pitch, a fastball poured in for a strike, and it's one and one. Third baseman Wallace, even with the bag and off the line, about 10 steps at third. Big gap in right center field. Here's the next pitch. Curveball inside half for a strike, and Noblet works out ahead, one and two to this hitter. Next delivery on the way. Pitch high, and the count squares at two and two. Nobody out, two aboard here for the Lakers. Action on the base path here in the early going. Noblet stares in. Jenkins asks for time. Cleanup hitter Owen Cox waits on deck here in the first. Noblet looks at the runner at second. Brosmer in behind him. Here's the 2-2. This one hit on the ground of Wallace. He smothers it, taps third. Will go to first base. Low throw, pulls Trevino off the bag. They get the lead runner there. And there's one gone. Johnson goes to second. Jenkins on the fielder's choice. Wallace smothered that, went right to the bag, and had some time, but throw went up toward the right field line. Trevino had to come off the bag to get it. Clean up hitter Cox in the batter's box. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. One gone, first and second for the Lakers here in the top of the first. No score. Cats in the white uniforms with the black pinstripes. Lakers in the traveling gray with the powder blue accents. The 0-1. Pitch high. Like the Carolina Tar Heels, who lost last night to the Alabama Crimson Tide in the NCAA tournament. 1-1. One, one. This one fouled away. One gone here. First two men singled. Jenkins bounced into the fielder's choice. Johnson out at second. Takes a decent lead out there. Atkins comes out from behind home plate. He's the guy that sees the whole field as far as defensive coverages are concerned. Noblet wheels in, and ball went sailing on the first base side a second, but Brosmer able to corral it. Continue to hold the runner on at first as well. The one-two from Andrew. This one popped up a mile high into shallow left field. Brosmer out, Holzman in, and it's Brosmer making the catch about 20 feet, 25 feet into left field for the second out of the inning. Two away for Dalton Fiscus, the center fielder. So two straight outs recorded after the first two men reached for Shackamack. Noblet brings it home. Breaking ball. High. 1-0. Again, Boonville did not threaten against Coons, Levin, and Whitsitt. And that no-hitter. The 1-0. This one hits sharply to Brosmer. It's short, and he'll run it to the bag for the force out to end the inning. A couple of base hits in the first for the Lakers. They come up empty through a half. Shackamack nothing, Jasper nothing. We're back with more after this. 
1033 The Fix is Southern Indiana's go-to radio station for must-have music hits. I love your music! From the All-American Rejects to Lizzo, we've got you covered. Dude, I listen all the time. Did we mention we also have local news, sports, and Pacers basketball? Wow. Your music fix, your sports fix, your fix for it all. Oh my god, I won! Tune in to 103.3 and get your fix today. Today's must-have music all day. Welcome back to Rooksor Field. Wildcats come to the plate here in the bottom half of the first inning against the Shackamack Lakers here. Jay Cox, the pitcher for Shackamack. Andrew Noblet stands in. First pitch of the bottom of the first. Swung out and missed. It's 0-1. Shackamack had some action on the bases in the first, but they do not score. Cox, even with the bag, that's Owen Cox at third. Johnson, Husband, and Jenkins, the infield third to first. Noblet weighs at this one. Sam, Fiscus, and Johnson in the outfield. Riley Huckabee behind home plate for the Lakers. Noblet down 0-2 to Cox, the right-hander. The 0-2 does not chase. Terry Gobert on the coaching line at third. Jeff Zink occupies the first base bag or the first base coaching line. Braxton Brosmer on deck, one and two to the Wildcats. Starting pitcher, Andrew Noblet. Cox kicks and deals, outside corner, strike three. A beautiful pitch right there. One away here for the Wildcats. will bring up Brosmer. Brosmer bats with the bases clean and one away. Gap in left center field for the Wildcats shortstop. Hammer breaking ball misses. Wind dying down just a little bit here in this half inning. The 1-0. This one hits sharply past a diving Cox into left field and Brosmer's on for the first Wildcat hit of the game. Lakers have out hit the Cats so far, 2-1, to one, and here comes Braden Giesler, who had a game on Tuesday night, a couple of doubles and four RBIs. Part of a three-hit night. Left-handed batter spread out at the plate. He's got that hole on the right side. He painted the line in his first at bat with a double between the first baseman and the bag in that first game. Jenkins holds against Brosmer at first base in the 0-1 to the Wildcats center fielder forthcoming. Curve ball chopped up the first base line foul out in front of that one. Kai Coons on deck, the cleanup man for the Wildcats. No score, bottom of the first. Glad you could join us on this Friday night, 18 WJTS. We'll have baseball on game nights at 10, Saturday games there at 1 o'clock since 1993. We'll hold the runner on at first. Cox brings it home. Fouled away. Out of play. First third base side. Weather perfect tonight. You never know what you what you'll get here late in March, Easter early this year, and coincides with the start of the season on Monday for everybody. 0-2 to Geisler, Brosmer at first. Here's the pitch. Geisler skies this one again. High into shallow left. Johnson goes out. In comes the left fielder, Sam, and he makes the catch. Ball was skied way up there. Two away now for Kai Coons. So Coons with the runner at first. Brosmer singled with one out. He's still at first. Cox works out of the stretch, brings it home. This one, big swing, fouled off on deck circle, third base side. Third base dugout occupied by the Lakers. Oh, and won the count here to Kai. Again, pitch three innings of no hit, five strikeout baseball in that game against Boonville. This one over his head. Walked a couple, hit a couple in that game. Jack Levin, two innings, and Jackson Woodson 
Finish things off in the fifth. By that time, the Cats had the 10-run rule secured. Wanted one runner at first. Pitch, curveball way out. Front snap throw down to first base. Brosmer dives back. And Coons down one and two here with two away. No score, bottom of the first. Cats at the plate. Wallace on deck. Here's the pitch. Low blocked nicely by the catcher, Huckabee. Kept the runner at first. Now the count is even at two and two. Two and two. Cox homeward. This one lined right at the shortstop, misdirected, and Johnson snagged it right out of the air. It took off towards the third base side of shortstop and then curved right back to Johnson. Cats get a base runner. They come up empty through one. Lakers nothing, Cats nothing more. Wildcat baseball after this on 18 WJTS Sports. McDonald's is committed to being the best first job in America with flexible schedules, professional training, customer service, and leadership opportunities, along with competitive wages and paid vacations. You could earn up to $3,000 in educational benefits while learning work skills that will help you in any career field. Further your education with Indiana Tech by getting 20% off their tuition rate. Team members receive free meals on the clock and a 30% discount while off duty. McDonald's is committed to helping you succeed. Explore McDonald's job opportunities at manmcdonalds.com. Back to Rooksur Field for the second inning. No score. Shackamack to the plate with Sam, Husband, and Johnson. Six, seven, and eight in the batting order against Noblet, who gave up a couple of hits, but that was it. Lakers stranded those base runners out there. First two guys reached on singles. Curveball dances in for a strike to Sam. 0 oh 1. Noblet works out ahead. And win howling out toward left center. Next pitch from Noblet. This one shot into right. Levin will charge hard and make the one-handed catch for the first out of the inning. One away for Husband, the second baseman. So Husband bats here. Noblet working to the seventh hole hitter. He waves at that one, fouls it off. And it's 0-1. A one delivery. Pumped on the outside corner, misses. One-one delivery. This one again, pop foul out of play. Noble works out ahead one and two. Third baseman Wallace even with the bag and off the line at third. Noblet out of the full windup here with a one and two count. Time called. One, two. This one lined into right center field for a base hit. Third hit of the game for the Lakers. Jalen Johnson, the right fielder for Shackamack. I'm going back in the stretch, runner at first. Eighth hole hitter for the Lakers here. Pitch dives low, 1-0. Next delivery. This one rifled back into the screen. And the count goes to one and one here. Lakers with a base runner. Now but a one one count. To the hitter, he throws over to first back in time. His Madden husband.
One one. Shoved outside. Two and one here. Rikers have had some base runners here in the early going. Three hits on the game. They've out hit the Cats 3 1. Oblet out of the stretch goes back over. Two one. Strike outside corner at the knees. Even up at two and two. One gone here. Cats with a double play possibility here. Against the Lakers. Top of the second, no score. Nobla to the letters on his white Wildcat jersey. Brings it home. It's outside. Three and two. See if the runner. Husband is traveling here, three and two with one gone. Takes a short lead. Trevino holds him on. The three, two, he stays put. This one popped into shallow right. Levin once again comes in, and so goes Hobbick out, and it's Hobbick making the catch. No, at least they communicated at the very end. That could have been a disaster, both having the ball drop and injury-wise. So two away for Jay Cox, the pitcher, or Jackson Cox. Throw over. Got him. Picked him off. For the second consecutive game, the Wildcats have picked off a runner. So the Lakers do not score here in the second. They get a base hit. Nobody left. We'll head to the bottom of the second. No score. Cats and Lakers will have more after this. At Ubalor Chevy Cadillac and Jasper, we pride ourselves on being open and honest with our customers. We have clear and straightforward pricing with no hidden dealer fees or tricks. When you buy from us, you can trust that you're getting a great deal. Our team is friendly and knowledgeable and we'll make sure that you get the perfect vehicle for you. Come see for yourself why so many people in the Tri-State shop at Ubalars. Ubalar Chevy, Cadillac, and Jasper, where customers send their friends since 1929. Back of the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the second. Will Wallace leads things off. He's the cat third baseman. Cole Trevino and Tyler Atkins to follow against Cox, who gave up a hit back in the first. Struck out a batter as well. 1-0 to Will Wallace. Had a single and double Tuesday night against Boonville. Pitch dives outside and low. 2-0. Next delivery. This one popped up down the right field line. Johnson comes in. Long run and makes the play for the first out of the inning. Cole Trevino gets in. He had a day two on Tuesday. Three hits, two-run bomb, and four RBIs. He had a line drive out of here to left field. So Trevino bats here. Inside corner misses 1-0. Gats in Bloomington South on it. Tuesday night out of here at Rooksor Field. Good matchup in the early season. This one lined into the gap in left center field. And that's going to be extra bases for Cole Trevino. Takes the big turn at first, and he scurries into second with a leadoff, or a one-out double, I should say. Second hit of the game for the Cats. And here comes Tyler Atkins with one away. Cats left one back in the first. Ball was hammered by Trevino. Inside from Cox.
On and one. This one's high. Runner at second. Cats looking to get on the board here. Outside corner for a strike. Two and two to Atkins. Holzman on deck. This one misses with a curveball. So we've got a three and two pitch here to Atkins. Runner at second. Trevino takes a short lead out there. Cox looks at him just once and brings it home and gets by the catcher first and third on ball four. For Holzman here. Max Butel will run it first. Now batting for the Wildcats, the left fielder, number 15, K.J. Holzman. So Holzman with runners on the corners and one gone. Cox brings it home, runner takes off. They let the runner go down to second base, so now it's second and third for the Wildcats. Next pitch to A.J. outside. 2-0. Conference between the catcher, Huckabee, and the pitcher, Cox, here. Just one gone here as the conference is over. Holzman at the plate. A.J. made a nice catch in the left field corner in the top of the first on Tuesday night against Boonville. The 2-0, Holzman chops it off the instep, and it's a foul ball. Those hurt. Two and one, the count to the Wildcat left fielder as he gets ready to get back in there against Cox. Runners at second and third, pitch to Holzman. This one hammered in the left field for a base hit. Trevino will come in to score. Butel stops at sec or third, and the Cats lead 1-0 on the single by A.J. Holzman in the left field. So Trevino's leadoff double pays off. Third hit of the game, first run across for the Cats. Now then the right fielder gets in. So Levin with runners at first and third. Pitches outside. See if Levin tries to drive these in here. Squares the bunt, third base side, foul. Safety squeeze opportunity. One and one to the Wildcat right fielder. First and third, Cats lead one nothing here. Big 
swing by Levin, chased a breaking ball upstairs. It's one and two. Andrew Noble with the leadoff man on deck for the Cats here. One and two, the Cow with one away. One, two, inside. So Levin. With Holzman at first, Butel at third. Two and two, the count. Cox would love a punch out, and he got it. Got him to chase something upstairs. Two away here. Second strikeout for Cox, and here comes leadoff man Andrew Novel to strike out victim back in the first. one nothing Cats here in the bottom of the second inning from Rooksor Field. Levin fanned, and here comes Novel at first pitch in for a strike. On one to Andrew. He'll take at least one run out with him to begin the third. Would love to have some more. The baton's in his hands. This one is high. Next pitch. Caught on and missed. One and two. Noblet waits. Here's the pitch. This one shot into center field. Fiscus will draw a bean on it. He'll make the catch. Wildcats pick up a run here in the bottom of the second on the A.J. Holzman RBI single. Through two. Cats one. The Lakers nothing. We're back with more after this. Maringer's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning is committed to adding value to its customers and community by providing quality service for all mechanical applications. Maringer's has been around for many years, and while adapting to the changing times, one thing has not changed. The quality of customer service and care you receive. When you need repair work done, you want it done right. You want Maringer's. Maringer's is happy to help with residential and commercial plumbing, HVAC, metal fabrication, and fire protection needs. 812-482-4425. Back to the ballpark as we play here in the third inning. Cox leads things off. He was at the plate when Husband was picked off for the third out of the inning. 0-1. Dives low, one nothing. Cats. Noblet works with a lead here on the top of the third from Alvin C. Rooksor Field. Glad you could join us here on 18 WJTS. The 1-1. One, one. This one fouled straight back. So Noblet works out ahead. He's not struck out a batter tonight until now. One away. Ford Johnson, the shortstop, who singled earlier. This one hit on the ground sharply towards Brosmer near the second base bag. He comes over the top and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Two up, two gone. Noblet has not retired the Lakers in order through the first two and two-thirds. But looking to do so here. Johnson, the hitter. Fastball up. 2-0 the count here. Cats lead 1-0 here in the top of the third. Noblet brings it home. 
Fastball pumped in at the knees, two and one here. Johnson singled earlier, the two one. This one down the right field line. Levin chases it, and it'll drop in in front of him. Gets away momentarily. The runner's going to try to go up to second base, and he is going to be cut down from here to there. Levin, after it got by him a bit, came up firing, and they cut the base runner down. We'll head to the bottom of the third. one nothing Cats. We'll have more after this. Think about the journey, not about how you're getting there. The all-new Michelin LPX MS2, engineered for two extra years of tread life. Available at Dubois County Tire and Supply in Jasper. Big or small, we service all. Dubois County Tire. Back of the ballpark, we go to the bottom of the third. And one nothing cats here. Jay Cox climbs the hill. He'll face Brosmer, Geisler, and Coons here. In the third, Cats got their run back in the bottom of the second inning. one -oh. This one hit up the middle. Flag down by the shortstop. Johnson throws on. He got him. Boy, Brosmer got robbed right there by his counterpart, Johnson, at shortstop. He got a nice hop, but that's a hang with him right there now. He could use some rain. And that ball took a big hop. Brosmer hit it hard. Here comes Geisler, who flew out to shallow left, tries to drop down a bunt and bunts right through it. Oh, and one. Eastler takes this one low. One and one the count to the hitter, Geisler. Coons on deck, Cats one. Lakers nothing. The Lakers have out hit the Cats 4-3 in this one. Bullpen action up and running down the right field line for the Wildcats. Two and one, Geisler waits, takes a fastball upstairs. He's ahead in the count here. Geisler ahead in the count, the three one. He sits on it, rolls it over though, right to Jenkins at first, he runs it to the bag. For the second out of the inning, Lakers have not retired the Cats in order. Yet. Kai Coons lined to short earlier as well. Backhanded by the catcher here. 1 0. Oh. Bottom three. Cox wants a new baseball. One zero, strike. Coons couldn't pull the trigger on, and the count evens up at one and one. Cox has thrown pretty well tonight. In that three hit performance so far. The one one. This one hit up the middle, and that's going to trickle into center field for a two out base hit. These games are very simple. A lot of these teams come in here and just start walking people, and that's where you get in trouble. But Cox has done a nice job of. Just walking one so far. So here comes Will Wallace who flew out the right field. This one knocks him off the plate a bit. One and oh. Hold the runner on at first base. 
Wallace gets ready. And Cox brings it home. It's outside. It's back to the screen. And the Cats have a runner in scoring position on the wild pitch. This one again high and tied to Wallace. So 3-0. and oh, They'll turn him loose at times. We'll see how it goes here. First base is open. Here's the pitch. Right down the middle with a fastball. And it's 3-1 and one now. Wallace can once again set on a fastball here. Runner at second, Kai Coons. Ball four. So Trevino stands in. He doubled earlier. One nothing Cats here. Cox with two outs trying to get out of this one. Cats have stranded three for, through the first two innings. Trying to pick up a guy or two here. Fastball high. I mentioned Cox had been around the plate, but now having some trouble. Now catcher Huckabee going to go out and talk it over once again. One zero delivery is inside. Two and zero. Trevino waits. First and second with two outs. Fastball high. Atkins waits on deck. Cats threatening here in the bottom of the third. Cox brings it home. This one is ball four. And the bases are full of Wildcats. Here comes Atkins. He walked earlier. Now, Shackamack coaching staff going to come out and talk it over here. So Mound Conference here, bases full of Wildcats in the bottom of the third. Jasper with a one-nothing lead. Atkins walked earlier back in the second inning, batting for the second time in as many innings. Coons at third, Wallace at second, and Trevino down at first base. Cats can break it open here with the hit. Cox sends it home. Low block by Huckabee. Play behind the runner at first. Cox works out of the full windup with Atkins at the plate. Cox trying to get out of this one without any more damage. Pitch is high, 2-0. Well, Cox having trouble finding the zone here in recent batters. Two and zero to Atkins, one nothing Jasper in the home third here at Rookser Field. Cox in agreement with his catcher here wants a strike. Pitch on the way, strike inside corner. Two and one with two away. Bases full of cats, bullpen up and running for the Lakers down the left field line. Two and 
2-1. This one fouled sharply down the right field line into the netting that protects Sarah's place. 2-2. Two and two. The Brett Weininger tree down the right field line is no more. That tree that caught a lot of light down through the years. Basically the light standard. That tree blocked all the light into right field. It's weird not seeing that tree down there. Two and two. Outside blocked by Huckleby. Of course, after the season, a couple days after the season, this whole place will be renovated into a turf field. And they've got all kinds of things they've got to do inside and outside of the fence to get that done with the way this thing is sloped unevenly. Runners take off with the 3-2. Ball shot into right field. Shallow right. Well, actually, first base. Behind first base, it didn't carry at all. But it's caught by Jenkins to end the inning nevertheless. Cats threaten. They leave three. We'll head to the fourth. one nothing. Jasper will have more after this on 18 WJTS. 101 Country, WBDC, your morning brain teaser. Here's Dolly Parton now on Lunch with the Legends on 101 Country. All right, uh, leading things off on a good time gold Saturday morning. Beezer, good morning. Good morning, Ty. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Be sure to join me from 3 to 6 for Afternoons with Amanda. We are 101 Country, WBDC. Back to the ballpark as we head to the fourth. Jenkins leads things off. Cats lead 1-0 here over the Lakers. Cats got their run back in the second inning on an RBI single by A.J. Holzman. Pitch on the way to Jenkins. This one pops straight back. That's right behind us, and it's 1-1. One one. Jenkins, Owen Cox, and Fiscus in the... Order here for the Lakers. This one chopped on the ground towards Wallace at third. He's got the glove down, comes up and fires one away. Cox flew out to Brosmer in left center field earlier. First pitch from Andrew. This one again popped up. Foul territory. Third base side. And that'll be into the stands. Third base side. Noblet works out ahead 0-1 here to the hitter. Stretching Andrew out a little bit. Cats had the bullpen up and running earlier. Down he goes the full 7-0-1. This one popped up. Center field, Giesler drifts over toward the left center field gap and catches it with two hands. And there are two gone here in the Laker fourth. Fiscus will stand in. He bounced into a fielder's choice. Pitches out of the or in the for a strike, 0 and 1. Oh and two. An omelet trying for another three up, three down inning. The 0 2 port plate word. Fouled away. First base side. Owen two, two gone, Noblet, Plateward. Got him. Struck him out with a curveball and a three up, three down inning. Pitch by Noblet. Wildcats will come to the plate in the bottom of the fourth, leading one nothing. We're back with more after this. Local people watching local people. 18 WJTS TV has been your reliable source for local news, weather, sports, and events for 30 years. Since 1993, WJTS has been serving Dubois County and all surrounding counties with free televised programming, daily newscast, local sports games, WJTS Inform, and more. We are 18 WJTS, 
Local people watching local people. Back at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, A.J. Holzman, Jack Levin, and Andrew Noblet, the hitters for the Wildcats. Jasper leads 1-0. Holzman knocked in a run. His previous plate appearance, a little check swing back to the hill, and Cox will retire Holzman on the first pitch of the fourth inning. Excuse me, cut by A.J. So Levin, who struck out earlier, gets in. One and oh. Two oh. This one squibbed down the third baseline. Q shot off the end of the bat for Levin. He takes the big turn at first. He's going to second base and he's gonna have a sliding double. And that ball again off the end of the bat. Fifth hit of the game. Turns the lineup back to the top and Andrew Noblet. That was off the end of the bat. Probably a pretty good pool player. <laughs> right? Yeah. So here comes Andrew Noblet. So a runner at second base. Cats have stranded six. They'd like to do better in that category. Noblet 0 for 2, takes a big swing, fouls it off. On one account to the Wildcat pitcher. Throw in behind the runner at second. Diving back in is Levin. A way and one. Fouled away. Oh, and two with one down. Omelette does not chase. Two and two. One and two. Noblet again spanks it foul. Levin, or Levin out at second base. Noblet at the plate trying to increase the one nothing lead as the Wildcat bullpen once again goes to work. Noblet pops it up. Right center, in comes Fiscus. He'll charge hard and make the play. And a long run where they had Noblet played two away. Here comes Brosmer, he's one for two in the game. Levin tries to take off to go to third, and he's in there. So now he's 90 feet away. A lot of things can happen. So 1 0 the count to Brosmer. On deck, Braden Geisler. 1 0 Cats, bottom of the fourth. 
This one skied into right center field. Fiscus will chase it into the gap and run it down. For the third out of the inning, Wildcats once again get a base runner, but he is stranded. We'll head to the top of the fifth, one nothing Jasper. We're back after this. This is Tony Ubelar, Ubelar Toyota in Jasper. Toyota announces a new certified used vehicle program. Now vehicles up to 10 years old with 125,000 miles are silver certified. Cars up to six years old with 85,000 miles are gold certified. That means more great certified Toyotas for you to choose from. All with additional factory warranty, 24-hour roadside assistance, and a stringent multi-point quality inspection, like usual. Ask about a gold or silver certified used Toyota from Ubelar Toyota in Jasper today. Time of the fifth. Ian Sam will stand in against Noblet. Cats lead 1-0. Cats have out hit the Lakers 5-4 here. Fastball misses outside, 1-0. Lakers, bat here in the top of the fifth on a beautiful night here at Rooksur Field. This one chopped on the big hop to Brosmer. It's short, comes over the top, and he cannot make the throw. It's in the dirt, and a runner at first base. So, Brosmer fielded on a big hop, then had to plant Threw it low, and Trevino could not scoop it up. And Husband will stand in. He singled earlier. Throw over to first base. Nearly picked off their second runner of the night. And throws over. Cat bullpen up. Husband showed bunt when the Cats threw over. Here's the pitch. Right down the middle. They didn't show bunt there. And it's 0-1. Oh, and one runner at first. Here is the pitch. Chased one out of the zone. He's down 0 and 2. So, from having a chance to move the guy up with the bunt, now he's down 0 and 2. O2. Called third strike. Buzzed him with a pitch one away. Third strikeout for Noblin. Johnson will hit. So one away, runner at first for the Lakers. Next pitch, strike at the knees there. Cats have the double play in order here in the fifth, leading one nothing. Laker bullpen now up and going. The 1-1 one -one runner takes off. Ball hit down the right field line. Foul into the stands. And that had some heat on it. Fan from Hayesville almost made the catch. One and two. Again, see if the runner takes off. One and two this time. He stays put. Breaking ball misses outside. Two and two the count. Jasper protecting a one nothing lead here in the top of the fifth. Two, two, curve ball strike three. He punched him out. Four strike out here with two outs. Here comes Cox the pitcher. Throw over. 
over. Hits are tied at five apiece. One nothing Jasper. Novel it deals it low. Next one popped up, out of play, right field side. So the count evens at one and one to Cox, the pitcher, leadoff man, Riley Huckabee, the catcher, waits on deck. Again, a left-hander working in the Laker bullpen. One and one, Noblet comes to the letters. And comes home, runner takes off, pitch outside, throw down to second base is not in time, and it scoots away from Brosmer. Shouldn't say not in time, it... Runner, Brosmer and the ball got there at the same time, and the ball got loose. Two and one here. Noblet with a two and one count. Runner in scoring position for the Lakers. Popped up, shallow center, Geisler in, Hobbick out. And it's Hobbick making the catch for the third out of the inning. Lakers get a base runner. He does not score. We'll head to the home fifth, one nothing. Jasper Moore. Wildcat baseball after this on 18 WJTS. 103.3 The Fix is Southern Indiana's go-to radio station for must-have music hits. I love your music! From the All-American Rejects to Lizzo, we've got you covered. Dude, I listen all the time. Did we mention we also have local news, sports, and Pacers basketball? Wow. Your music fix, your sports fix, your fix for it all. Oh my god, I won! Tune in to 103.3 and get your fix today. Today's must-have music all day. <laughs> Back at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Braden Geisler leads things off for the Cats. Jasper leading 1 0. Ball fouled away. Oh, and two. Geisler digs in. Over oh two tonight. Cox still on here in the fifth. Big swing, slashes it back into the netting. O2. The one two sails outside. <laughs> two and two to the Wildcat center fielder. Big swing and fouled it off into the glove. One away. Strikeout number three for Cox. Coons will stand in. Popped up, foul territory, third base side. Left fielder Sam runs out of real estate. Here 
Here's the pitch, and it's high. Cats lead one nothing here. This one hit on the ground slowly towards first. Up with it is Jenkins for the second out of the inning. Will Wallace over one with a walk. He gets in there. One and O. Oh. Curveball dances in for a strike. One and one. Two and one with two outs. Bottom of the fifth, one nothing Cats. Here's the pitch. Big swing by Wallace. Two, two. Two away. Bottom of the fifth. Hits tied at five apiece. Laker pitcher Cox going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Noblet here tonight. Cat scored their run in the second. Pitch to Wallace, and that just hammered him. So hit by pitch. He's walked three as well, and here comes Trevino. Trevino will stand in here. Pitch misses outside and low to Trevino. He's got a double and a walk tonight for the Cats. Next pitch out of the zone. This one is high as well. Three and zero to Trevino. Atkins on deck, runner at first here in the fifth. Time called. Again, the Lakers had a pitcher up earlier. Cox trying to get out of this little situation. Walked him first and second. And that'll bring up Atkins here. Still no movement in the Laker dugout. one nothing Cats here in the fifth. Oh, Atkins. 0 for 1 with a walk. Oh, and one. First and second, force out at every infield base for the Lakers. Pitch low. They block it.
1-1. This is inside to Atkins. Two and one. Cox trying to wiggle out. A.J. Holzman on deck with Atkins at the place. Two one. This one hit on the ground in the hole between third and short. And it's into left field for a base hit. Sam charges. Runner rounds third. He'll come in. It's two nothing. Cats on the RBI single by Tyler Atkins. And it was a two out hit by pitch that opened that door. Six hit of the game for the Cats. And that will be it for the pitcher, Cox. He will leave down 2 nothing here in the fifth. We'll step aside. We'll have more after this. McDonald's is committed to being the best first job in America with flexible schedules, professional training, customer service, and leadership opportunities, along with competitive wages and paid vacations. You could earn up to $3,000 in educational benefits while learning work skills that will help you in any career field. Further your education with Indiana Tech by getting 20% off their tuition rate. Team members receive free meals on the clock and a 30% discount while off duty. McDonald's is committed to helping you succeed. Explore McDonald's job opportunities at manmcdonalds.com. New pitcher for the Lakers is Landon Jenkins. Runners at first and second with two outs. Cats lead 2-0 as Holzman steps in after the pitching change. Cox went four and two-thirds of six hit. Two-run baseball, struck out three, walked four, and hit a batter. Holzman has an RBI single earlier in the game. Play behind the runner at first and second. Butel and Werner, the pinch runners for the Wildcats. Pitch low. Three and old AJ Holzman. Next pitch. And he walked him. The bases are loaded for Levin, the right fielder. Levin so far, oh, one for two with a double. A cue shot down the third base line his last time up. Slash foul back into the screen. Cats with a run across here. Here in the fifth to lead 2 nothing. Cat base runners at every base. The 0-1 high. The 1-1 delivery. This is outside. So now as we talked about earlier, these pitchers come in here and the wheels fall off as far as the ball and the walks are concerned. And that's where you get sideways in these games. Turn good baseball games into horrible games. Three and one now. Three and one, the count, base is loaded. Levin waits. Ball four, and that chases in a run. Run charge to Cox. Hmm. 
And back to the top, and Andrew Noblet. Pitch into Andrew in for a strike. Bases loaded, pitch to Noblet. Fastball high. Next pitch to the Wildcat pitcher, and he fouls it straight back. Base is full, one and two, two outs. Cats lead three nothing here. Hit on the ground sharply towards short, up with it, Johnson. And he threw on to first base and they got him. And that was an all or nothing play right there. But the Cats pick up two here in the fifth. We'll head to the sixth. Three nothing Jasper over Shackamack. We're back with more after this. At Ubalar Chevy Cadillac and Jasper, we pride ourselves on being open and honest with our customers. We have clear and straightforward pricing with no hidden dealer fees or tricks. When you buy from us, you can trust that you're getting a great deal. Our team is friendly and knowledgeable and we'll make sure that you get the perfect vehicle for you. Come see for yourself why so many people in the Tri-State shop at Ubalar's. Ubalar Chevy Cadillac and Jasper, where customers send their friends since 1929. Back at the ballpark, Cats lead 3-0. It's the end of the line for Andrew Noblet. He'll give way to Jackson Whitsett here. Whitsett, a clean inning in that win over Boonville on Tuesday night. First pitch to Huckabee, the catcher, is out of the zone, 1-0. So Andrew, five innings of three hit. Four strikeout baseball. 1-0 pitch to Huckabee, out of the zone. So the count goes to 2-0 here to Huckabee. Make it 3-0. Not be good to walk the leadoff hitter here in the sixth with your team just getting two runs and out of the bullpen. Hammer breaking ball in for a strike. The Laker bullpen up and at him as well here. Cats looking to go to 2 0 on the season. One in the first and two more in the fifth. Wits at Plateward. Ball four and a non competitive pitch to the leadoff man here in the sixth. First walk issued by Wildcat Pitching. Johnson will get in. He is singled a couple of times for the Lakers. First pitch on the way. Strike outside corner. Cats have left nine. That exact, not exactly driving in runs. Wallace in on the grass and off the line at third. Double play situation up the middle. Noblet now playing second, the 0-1. Hit on the ground, Brosmer ranges over towards his right, smothers onto Noblet and they throw it into right field. And up the third base goes the base runner. He's sliding in, now the ball gets away, bounces right back. That'll allow the runner to go into second base. He's safe. So now it's second and third with no outs. Huh. That's a lot to unpack right there. So second and third. Fielder's choice, Johnson into Brosmer, and then they threw the ball away for an air. And Jenkins represents the tying run, so don't look now. Jenkins 0-2 or 0 for 2. Rosmer did a nice job of knocking it down, but the play at second base was going to be bang, bang anyway, and then went into right field. The throw back in from the outfield overshot the third baseman. Runner couldn't score, but the other runner went up to second. This one wide of the bag at third. Foul, and the count evens at one and one.
throw in behind the runner. This one hit into left field for a base hit. One run will score. Holzman comes up, and they hit the cutoff man. So runners are on the corners here with nobody out. RBI single by Jenkins. Oh, Owen Cox, the third baseman. This one looped into left center field. Giesler will make the catch, but that will chase home the second run of the game. A sacrifice fly makes it three to two, Cats. Runner still at first base for Fiscus, 3-2. Ball popped up, shallow right. In comes Levin. He'll make the catch for the second out of the inning. So Sam will stand in. Oh, and two. Two Sam, three, two Cats. Called third strike, got him to foul it off. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth. Jasper clings to a 3 2 lead over Shackamack. We'll step aside and have more after this. Maringer's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning is committed to adding value to its customers and community by providing quality service for all mechanical applications. Maringer's has been around for many years, and while adapting to the changing times, one thing has not changed. The quality of customer service and care you receive. When you need repair work done, you want it done right. You want Maringer's. Maringer's is happy to help with residential and commercial plumbing, HVAC, metal fabrication, and fire protection needs. 812-482-4425. Back of the ballpark as we head to the bottom of the six. Cats lead 3-2. Braxton Brosmer in against Jenkins. Pitches out of the zone. Rosmer. Followed by Geisler and Kai Coons here. Try to add on, leading 3-2. This one cut on and missed, but got by the catcher. And Brosmer will be aboard at first base. So the leadoff man is on here on the strikeout by Jenkins. Hits tied at six apiece. Braden Geisler 0 for 3 in the game. Pitch low, runner caught up between first and second, and Brosmer dives back in.
Bullpen going for Shackamack, likewise for the Wildcats as well. The lefty looks right at the base runner. Geisler tries to shorten up, takes it for a strike. 3-2 Jasper, home half of the six. It's tied at six apiece. Cats have the lone two airs of the ball game. Geisler, left-handed hitter. Good speed. Has that hole on the right side of the infield. They'll hold against the runner, Brosmer at first. The 1-1 one -one to Geisler pulled off of that and takes it for a swinging strike. Geisler trying to get something going here with Brosmer aboard after the strikeout. Nobody out, runner at first. Geisler asks for time, Brad Bain. Nice enough to give it to him, and it's one and two. Jenkins in relief of Cox, the one, two. Geisler hits it sharply to second. On to second base for one. Relay back, in, not in time. Ball hit sharply right at Husband, but couldn't make a clean turn. Looked like he couldn't get it out of his glove. They get the lead runner, though, and a fielder's choice for Braden Geisler. Any other runner, you may turn that because that ball was scalded right at the second baseman. Here comes Coons, one for three, takes a pitch, barely missing on the outside half. It's pretty good right there. If I'm a pitcher, I kind of want that one. Be a long night if, as a pitcher, you don't get that. The lefty, the 1-0 runner, takes off pitch in the dirt, and he'll have second base. Braden Geisler down at second base. Cats trying to add on, leading 3-2. Kai Coons at the plate. Lakers with two here in the top of the sixth after the Cats led 3-0. The pause by Jenkins brings it home. Ball again skips past the catcher. Now another run 90 feet away. Wildcats looking for a couple of more breathing room type of runs. In for a strike. Three and one McCout here. Infield in for the Lakers. The three one. Ball hits sharply to short. They're going to come home, but the throw way off the mark for an air. And Coons on at first base on the fielder's choice, and it's four two. So. Cats are running on contact. That ball was hit sharply at Johnson. He elected to come home, and the throw was way off the mark. So 4-2, our score. Wallace gets in. He's been hit by a pitch, walked, and flew out the right. Curveball in for a called strike, 0-1. This one lined into center field for a base hit. Hit like a rocket by Will Wallace. First and second now for the Wildcats here for Cole Trevino. Trevino. Double. He's walked a couple of times. His place in the order is scored twice. Curveball out of the hand of Jenkins. Swung on and missed. Oh, and one. The lefty. Here's the pitch. It's outside. Atkins waits on deck. Four two cats here. In the Bottom of the six, due up for the Lakers, and the seventh will be seven, eight, and nine. 
as Whitsett came on last inning in relief of Noblet. The 1-1 pitch is forthcoming, swung on and missed by Trevino with one away. Cats with some action on the bases here, first and second. Cats about hit the Lakers 7-6 now. Jenkins brings it home. Fastball upstairs and in on the Wildcat first baseman. Two and two. Coons takes his lead at second. Will Wallace at first. The break even to Trevino. Skips out of the way, and it's three and two. Okay, this game has come to a screeching halt in the last couple of innings because people can't get it across the plate. And that, that's predictable. It's been, that's the M.O. of games here for 100 years. The 3-2, and he chased one out of the zone for a strikeout, desperately needed by Jenkins, his second punchy, and the fifth for Shackamack pitching. Atkins will get in. Pause, and the delivery. That is out of the zone, 1-0. 4-2 Cats. Shackamack again, another reliever up in the pen. Win for the first time tonight, just dead still on the flagpole in center. Misses. Pretty good pitch there by Jenkins, the left-hander. 2-0. A.J. Holzman on deck for the Cats. Jenkins checks the runner at second. The 2-0 strike inside corner. And the count goes to 2-1. and one. Two, one. Plate word. Same spot. Two and two. Jenkins checks the runner. The lefty brings it home. Barely missed there, too. Oh, he's working that inside corner to Atkins. That one barely missed. It's still now three and two with the runners at first and second. They will be moving with a pitch plate word here. Off they go. Ball punched on the ground towards second, ranging over to his right. His husband on to first to cut down Atkins. It's the last call for the Lakers. They're down 4-2. We'll head to the seventh after this on 18 WJTS Sports. Think about the journey, not about how you're getting there. The all-new Michelin LTX MS2, engineered for two extra years of tread life. Available at Dubois County Tire and Supply in Jasper. Big or small, we service all. Dubois County Tire. Back for the top of the seventh, Jack, or excuse me, um, Jackson Whitson on for his second inning of work. Husband, the second baseman, gets in. Cats lead 4-2. Andrew Noble at five innings on the hill for the Cats in his debut on the hill. Three hits, four strikeouts for the right-hander. Whitson trying to finish up. Ball chopped foul. Cats have out-hit the Lakers 7-6 in this one. Husband one for two in the game against Noblet. Jackson comes home, spiked it. It's one and two. Cats at home Tuesday night against Bloomington South. Got some guys on their roster. They got a nice team, usually, the one, two. Play on turf up there on their field. Cats will have turf next year, which will be outstanding. Two and two. Whitson pumps it. Ball popped up in the infield, cut of the grass. Noblet will make the play. 
one gone. One gone here in the top of the seventh inning. Lakers with Jalen Johnson. He's 0 for 2 in the game. Competitive game tonight. You thought it would be with Shaq Mack coming in here. They're a good A team, Bar Reeve. Really good class A team. They were a state finalist last year. Pitch in for a strike. One and one, some of the better A teams around. One one pitch from Witz. This one chopped on the ground to Wallace. He smothers it, picks it up, throws on. Trevino a stretch, and they got it. Third base, you just got to fall on it. Just fall on it, get up, and make the play. So Cox, the first baseman, gets in. He was today's starting pitcher. Pitched pretty well before tiring a bit. Two away. Whitson pounds the strike zone 0-1. Jackson pours the 1-1 home. Swung on and missed. 1-2 the count, two away. Down to their last strike are the Lakers. Whitson gets the sign and pumps the 1-2 home. Chopped on the ground up the third base side foul. So Whitson 1-2, two, two away here in the seventh. Whitson, the kick and fire with the 1-2 pitch. And fouled away. Whitson back in. Cox stands in from the right side. The one-two offering from Whitson. Popped up. Foul territory once again. Out of play. That's 9.50 into the stands. They were saying A-10 10s. Wilson, A-10-10s are $9 a piece now. But we're better off. I'll, I'll stop right there. The one-two. Ball lined into center field. will hang up for Braden Geisler. He'll make the catch for the third out of the inning, and that's the ball game. Cats win it by the final count of 4-2 over the Shackamack Lakers here tonight at Rooksur Field. Wildcats are... 2-0, they'll play the Bloomington South Panthers at 6 o'clock on Tuesday night right here at Rooksur Field in Jasper. That'll wrap up our coverage. Cats win it over Shackamack 4-2. For Jeremy Marcos, I'm Kurt Gooksa. Everybody have a great Easter weekend, and we'll talk to you on Tuesday night.